Welcome, it's Mike Ferry. Probably in the last week or 10 days, you watched a short video that I produced on prospecting, presenting, and closing, or basically understanding some of the basic fundamentals of how to list and sell real estate. You know, there's so many theories on how it should be done, but we never should get away from the basic fundamentals of talking to people, obviously presenting to them, and then asking them to sign the contract. We do this often in some time of a fumble, stumble, mumble type of process because we don't know what to say to make it a strong presentation. So once you've mastered those three, prospect and present and close, I strongly recommend there's three more steps that should be learned. Strong lead follow-up. Remember that a lead is defined by the number of transactions you're going to do annually. For example, if your goal is to do 10 transactions, you'll probably keep a lead from any place from 30 to 60 to 90 days. If your goal is to do 50 transactions, you'll probably keep a lead no more than say six to seven days because you know there's other people out there that want to buy or sell real estate. So becoming a little stronger in your lead follow-up and then second, being becoming a little stronger in your pre-qualifying. Working hard to determine the motivation of the party you're talking to. The higher the motivation, the lower the price they listed for. The higher the motivation, the more apt they are to give you the time to make a presentation. And then third, I want you to think about this, answering their questions and giving them an answer to their objections. If you ever took the time and sat down with a group of agents from your office and you said, what are the common questions that a buyer or seller would ask? You'd make up a list of eight or 10 and you'll discover that all buyers and sellers ask the same questions. And then if you did the same and say, what kind of objections do sellers give on a listing presentation? And you brainstorm it, there's only five or six objections they ever give. Our job is to learn the answers, learn the responses, so we can do our job at a higher level. Our goal is to help you have a great 2024. It's really up to you. It's not up to the market. It's not up to the economy. It's not up to interest rates. It's not up to buy owners and expireds. It's up to you doing your job. And these three steps can help you do it better. If you are interested in attending our Superstar Retreat this July, it's July 16, 17, 18, 19 at the Venetian Palazzo Hotel in Las Vegas. Hope to see you there. Thank you.